All right, new at six, chances are if you have ever been to a doctor or a hospital, especially in the last decade or so, you're likely very familiar with MyChart. It's an online portal for test results and medical information, but some providers right now are charging for it, though only under certain circumstances. Yeah, that's right. Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger here with the details on this. And Derek, Novant is one of those charging, right? Uh, yes, they in fact they are. Uh, in fact, uh, Novant is one of the ones, uh, one of only a handful charging, but they say they aren't doing it really for just anything. Novant started do it, doing it due to an influx of messages that they have received in recent years. It started last year and only applied to anything new that's being brought to the hospital, the doctor's attention, and likely something you may not have told them before. So if you have kept something from your doctor, you might want to go ahead and let them know, otherwise you might be charged. Okay, just for people listening yeah. to the story yeah. right now, I think yeah. that you might say, oh my goodness, I have my chart. Does mm -hmm. this apply to me? Is this every my chart? Is this the service? Just kind of give us more details on that so people can understand, does this apply to them? It does not apply to every service, and we do need to specify that as well. We're told only about a dozen hospital systems nationwide are actually doing this, but the number is growing. But you know just as well as I do that telemedicine is something that's becoming more of an option because of convenience, <laughs> and, and it is both an extension as a result of that, these charges that are coming. We should mention, though, that Atrium does not charge for uh, my chart services. So in case you're wondering, Novant does, Atrium does not. You know, people have used services like the Teladoc before. Those virtual mm -hmm. visits are usually free with insurance, yes. but what about this? Uh, it will depend on your insurance, uh, whether or not you've used your deductible, whether or not that's actually a feature of your insurance. That's another thing altogether, too. Whatever the case, whether it's virtual or my chart, it does appear that if you decide to actually go through my chart, it won't be really all that high. I think it's uh, 10 bucks uh, per uh, increment, I think per 30 minute increment that they're charging, mm -hmm. at least for uh, for Novant. As far as Atrium, again, they aren't charging it, but they are basically saying, hey, if you have to have an appointment as a result of the message, you'll be charged for that appointment, There's but a you difference won't be charged that, for the yeah. message, yes. Mm -hmm. So they're basically saying, hey, this is like the introduction, but if you have a question, a follow-up question, those will not be charged, but if it's something new, that's specifically why they are wanting to charge. I think that's what is. the big question is, too, yeah. is like how big are these charges? I think when, like when you yeah. heard the news and I heard the news, I mean, are you thinking, is it $10, $20, $30, like it's, you're talking, or is it like hundreds of dollars? Oh, I can remember using yeah. it for a, a, just a, a visit yeah. versus just some information or a message. Yeah. It's not that much, at least not yet. Okay. Just specify that. All right. so. <laughs> a lot of mixed, mixed views on this. Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right, thank you.